Oh, hey, it's Jelly coming at you from my Wizard of Oz inspired island named Wonderful. You guys might not remember this, um, but I've been working on my Duck Song Island for a while, but I signed up for another collab. So I thought that this island would be better suited to the collab. So I'm supposed to make a area inspired by an NPC, and that NPC was chosen for me by... Canada Crossing, our good friend Danny. So there was some kind of, I don't know how this one started. How do I keep getting myself into these things? This is my witch's castle. The Wicked Witch of the West on Wizard of Oz Island. So maybe we could do a Katrina area up here. I'm thinking, I mean, it's not large, but it's kind of just like an afterthought and it's unfinished. Now, I made a bunch of areas, <laughs> areas, I didn't. I made a bunch of like extra characters and then I narrowed it down to these two because I wasn't sure, but I kept Elphaba and that's the Wicked Witch of the West. Her name's Elphaba in the musical Wicked. So I was thinking of maybe like putting her house up here, but I don't know that I want to do it. I, I, I'm thinking, er, I'm thinking maybe just like make this Katrina, make this Katrina like moment up here and do that instead so i had that gazebo and whatnot maybe if i do like what if i do this like wood partition moment or something i kind of wanted to make this like look like it was inside did i not pick it up oh my goodness here it is okay um i don't know maybe we could maybe like these medium partitions could be like i think maybe like flip it around and these medium partitions can be like, make it seem like it's inside. I'm gonna put like all kinds of cool stuff on this shelf. Ooh, this might work. Okay, cause then we could put like, you know, candles up here. And like, I got like the fortune teller thing. I don't know, maybe we can do something nice with this. Let's see. I don't even know, I don't make videos a lot, you guys. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm just trying to like, speed design and I'm talking as I'm doing it and I'm hoping that it turns out to be something or maybe like I can detach the audio and like ooh, what about this imperial partition like I'm thinking maybe like detach the audio and then just like speed up what I'm doing right here so we'll see if I ended up doing that I need more of these wood partitions these look so good I'm gonna need more of these and then this isn't that bad this imperial partition I think that's a good option so let's, what are we doing? How do you guys do it? How do, how do you guys do it? I mean, this game's been out for years and people have been making speed builds for years, but I just don't, I just don't know how people do it. It's, it's, I envy that. I grabbed all of the purple things because I thought purple was definitely Katrina's vibe. So I don't have any like long table surfaces. I got these. I don't know. I think I tried to grab, like, the antique. Where is it? Like, an antique table or something? Oh, how, what about jail bars? Let's go 1.0 and use jail bars. Like, we're so 1.0. Jail bars are so... Look at this, guys. 1.0 versus 2.0. Which one do you think's better? I mean, that has the shelf, and it's much taller, so... I'm thinking maybe, like... I don't know. This is a start. This is a start. Maybe I can go around and collect more items and then see what I can happen along here. But at least we have like an area started. Okay, so I went to Treasure Island, my good friend Panch. Got a whole bunch more of these medium wood partitions. Oh dear. Got a whole bunch more of these medium wood partitions and I did indeed find the perfect table. I was looking for like kind of a low table kind of thing to put back here and there's this thing called zen bench and this looks very like katrina fortune telly tellish i think like the whole purple and um the whole purple and red vibes is what i'm going for i guess um i don't know about simple stool i don't know what else is there uh, there is one that I used to use for 
fortune teller builds back in the day. It's like got that fringe around it. I don't know what it's called and I don't have one. So there's that. I was thinking maybe like, do I wall this all off here? I think so. Let's put another thing here to be like, hi, this is a room sort of. Oh, come on. This is very sensitive. Medium wood partition is very sensitive because I called him medium. I called him large and he's like, no, I'm medium. All right. This, I don't know. Okay. So we got this moment of time and then I got these stair dressers that I think, hopefully these are black. They are. Okay, great. I think these are super cool. This is a vibe as well. I think I'll put some of these around and then I just gotta find a whole bunch of little stuff to put around here to like finish off the look. I wish I could put a rug here. I wish I could put a rug here, but we can't put rugs outside. I always have like a custom design on my storage shed so that you can find it in the lineup of all the items in your pockets because the leaf on there will be green. Ooh, I forgot. Okay, beautiful. Moroccan footrest, way better than the simple stool. We're gonna get some crescent moon chairs for sure. Put them in the back, all cute. There's no purple glowing moss stool. I don't know if one exists. Um, I think I'm gonna get some more things out so I'm not scrolling. I don't know, maybe I'll just keep recording. I don't know how to make a video. It's my first day, it's fine, I don't know. Okay, here we go, Nova Lights. Let's get a couple of those. Um, wedding candles? Maybe a wedding candle in the back? And then maybe these glowing moss jars. I thought that was purple, but it actually looks blue. Okay, pockets are full. Let's put some of these things out. Crescent moon chairs. Maybe we could put them like sideways here. Where are they? Oh, this looks pink. This does not look purple. That's so sad. I feel like my voice is like gone. I don't know. I sound all raspy and stuff. It's the morning time. I just woke up. And... This is so last minute. I'm gonna get, like, never invited back to a collab again. I think it's 10. Okay, so it's 10.04, and the collab was due at 10 a.m. And here I am, still building, hoping to maybe just put this all together. I was gonna be like, guys, can I stream this? Can I just stream my build instead? Oh, I can use this glowing moss jars rack. Where can I, how can I make that work? Let's put it over here. Now that I lost it. Okay, there it is. I think that looks very fortune telly. Maybe we put it like this way. Or maybe I'll put like the other stair dresser that I have and kind of just layer. This was such a great collab to be invited to because there was a Discord chat that went along with it. So we kind of all got to know each other over the course of the two weeks that we were doing this. But unfortunately, I work three 13 hour shifts in a row and I did that for um, the past two weeks. So I was trying to jump in that conversation as much as I could. And yeah, it was really nice to kind of just talk to everybody and get to know everyone and have some fun. So the creators in this group are Ostrich Crossing, Meg Crossing, Silly Heather Plays, Nikki Crossing, Electric, Goldie Crossing, Mom's Crossing, and of course, Canada Crossing. And this was kind of like a ladder style selection where it went down the list of signups and the person before you got to select your NPC. Now, this challenge is supposed to be an area, not a mood board, not an HHP house, but an area on your island inspired by and for your NPC. And I would like to thank Danny, Canada Crossing, for picking Katrina for me because it worked out so well to put it here in my witch's castle on Wizard of Oz Island. So I kind of think this is like the first legit speed build that I've made and it kind of turned out pretty good. I don't know. It seems like it kind of flowed nicely and I wanted to keep a lot of this sped up dropping items build part, I guess, um, so that you could kind of see how this build came about. Um, yeah. So I'm going to put some like stock music on and have you guys watch to see how it came together.
I think I'm gonna do like one of these benches, one of these zen benches, and then put like all of the, I do want, I want to use a crescent moon chair. I have never, never, ever, ever used a crescent moon chair on an island. And I'm like excited. This is the perfect opportunity. Okay, I like this here. Maybe we'll put one on the other side. Cute. Okay, okay, let's do that. I kind of want to make this more of like a let's gather around and tell fortune sit down area. Let's hang out. I really like how this turned out. It's definitely a little bit different than like the items I would use, but since it was like an inspired area, it was pretty easy to build. So let's go see it. Um, so this is an area, again, inspired by Contrita. And it is um, part of like my witch's castle, like a witch of the west in Wizard of Oz Island. So we have like the crescent moon chairs on the sides when you walk up. And then, like, the main event here is, like, the Moroccan stools, which I absolutely love. And then I just kind of put, like, different purple. I couldn't really find many red things in my pockets. So I kind of just did, like, a bunch of um, purpley stuff. And I got the medium wood partitions all the way around to make sure it's kind of, like, an enclosed room more so. Like a hideout kind of thing. And another one of my favorite items is the glass um glowing moss like jar shelf there can you see it how do i do that camera angle how do i do the one where you like go sideways that there we go yeah this is so cute this is so cute so i want to thank everybody in the design challenge that included me on this sorry that i'm a little late to the game on posting i yeah i am so busy i have a full-time job I don't have many days during the week to work on things like this, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please go watch all of my friends, all of the other creators included in this NPC design challenge, and I will see you guys later. Bye!